we are going to do endoscopic discectomy in this case. His SLR is positive at 30 degrees on left side. He has got a left sided extruded disc at L45 which is slightly down migrating as also seen in the axial view. The patient is laid uh, on the bolsters to avoid the interabdominal pressure and to flex the lumbar spine. Uh, our anesthetist friend is telling us that the patient is giving conscious sedation where he gives fentanyl and midazolam. Uh, now the endoscope which we use is the YES endoscope which has got 2.8 mm working sleeve and uh, there is a very important instrument called the radio frequency cautery made by Elman. Another endoscope which we sometimes use is LEU endoscope. It is a zero degree endoscope and now you see the various instruments used like the cannula and the obturator etc. Uh, the most important step of this surgery is to mark the disc level because uh, our skin window and ultimately our annular window is the most important thing because all of our instruments are going to follow the needle. So we mark in the AP and the lateral view under the fluoroscopy and we go about 11 centimeter away from the midline. Now you see that uh, a 9 inch 18 gauge needle has been inserted. You see that, uh, that the needle has gone inside the disc. The first step is the discography and uh, where we insert the indigo carmine dye and ask the patient about pain. In this case you see that the dye has leaked into the epidural space and the patient winces with pain. So it means we are operating at a right level. Uh, now the guide wire is inserted and the other instrument follows like the working cannula and there's the cannula and finally our endoscope is inside. Now we are removing the blue stained disc here as you can see because of the indigo carmine dye and if the fragment is big we remove the endoscope along with that fragment of disc and the patient is enjoying his surgery as you can see and uh, we carry on like that now the another important instrument is the laser here we are using the sight firing holmium YAG laser you see that red light wherever it falls it cuts that uh, portion of the disc. Now we are trying to cut the annulus and the PLL so that uh, we can reach the hidden fragment of the disc and in the top uh, at about 12 o'clock position you see the epidural space and uh, right in the center is the disc and we are trying to cut the annulus at the moment and this white shining structure is the PLL. So after cutting the PLL uh, we see the disc material the extruded disc which is colored blue as you just saw and we will remove that ultimately now here we have removed it uh, now you can see it here that we have removed a big fragment of disc which was actually compressing the root and now if as in this case you see that the disc was slightly down migrating so we have to move over cannula and endoscope in that direction in order to catch that although that's an advanced kind of uh, surgery but we move over cannula up down or Corded or distal, uh, I mean, wherever we have to reach. The another important instrument is the radio frequency cautery to coagulate the small bleeders, as you can see it here. And this is the final stage. You see the epidural uh, structures uh, at the 12 o'clock, the uh, hollowed out disc. And uh, when we move our cannula up and down, we see the exiting and the traversing route. So the surgery is over, and let's ask the patient how he's feeling now. Uh, the patient seems to be happy. Uh, his pain has definitely been re relieved and when we remove the working cannula what the patient is left with is just a small hole which is less than 5 mm and a bandage is enough for his dressing. And the patient moves uh, on the trolley on his own uh, because the whole actual procedure is done under local anesthesia. His neurology seems to be normal and his SLR has definitely improved. Now next day the patient comes back to us with this fresh MRI which shows that the disc now is hollowed out. What you see here is just the hanging annulus uh, but beneath it the extruded disc has been hollowed out and removed as you see it here. Uh, and the same is confirmed in the axial cut as well. And the patient is happy and we, you can call it a bandaid surgery.